We have a few cruise news stories to share with all you Islanders today. First off, from Carnival Cruise Line, they respond emphatically with power and a punch of their own to all the recent onboard violence. We will share that statement with you today. Plus, we have news from Norwegian as the Norwegian sun is returning to cruising after hitting an iceberg. And finally today, a powerful story that shares the bond that cruisers have. You know that bond that I'm talking about if you've cruised. Fellow cruisers, saving each other from a dangerous situation. The love of cruising. It's not hate. It's not fighting. It is love. And we have it today. Let's talk about cruising and cruise news right now on Island Time. A big happy Monday to all you Islanders. Thank you for stopping by the show today. I am Derek and together we're going to drop our anchors. We're going to relax in the islands for the next seven or eight minutes. I have to first thank all of you who joined us last night on our live show. We had a blast together and there are 26 people eligible who super chatted last night to win some Island Time merch from Spreadshop. The link to our Spreadshop and Island Time gear is just below. Spreadshop treats you right. You pay for your product, they send it to you. If it doesn't fit right, if it doesn't look right, if you change your mind on it, you send it back within 30 days, you get your money back. You can exchange if you want to. Numbers one through 26, they're right up here. Let's give away some merch. Here we go. The lucky number is number eight. Number eight, David W. How about that? He said, I haven't won in a while. David W. You know what to do. Send me what you want from the website. You can let me know if you want a hat as well. I have some hats I can give you. Let me know. I'll ship it to you. Let's get into cruise news. That's why all of us are here and there's so much to talk about today. As Carnival Cruise Line responds to some of the recent violence that has happened on board its ships, I want to remind all of us Islanders, and most of us know this, but it's right to set the tone right now. Cruising across any cruise line is safe. Uh, when you talk about COVID, COVID protocols, it's safe. When you talk about violence, some violence that has made its way around social media the last couple of weeks, cruising is safe. Millions of passengers have traveled since the cruise restart a year ago. Most of them have traveled safely. I want to point that out first. Cruise security teams are trained professionals. When you, when you hear about cruise shortages, it's not happening on the security team. I can tell you that right now. These teams are trained to deal with whatever happens, including these brawls that we've seen. A dozen people, up to 60 people on the Carnival Magic, they are trained. And Carnival is coming out emphatically. They're throwing a punch of their own. And here's what they've shared regarding the recent onboard violence and what could happen in the future. Carnival released this statement. Our security team on board Carnival Elation intervened in an altercation between guests. This was just a few days ago. The matter was reported to law enforcement and an investigation is being completed. We won't tolerate behavior that disrupts other guest vacations and those who instigated the altercation will no longer be able to sail on our ships. Uh, that eliminates all gray area right there. If you start an altercation on a Carnival cruise ship, you're not going to be able to sail on their ships. What Carnival has released matches what a lot of you Islanders have said the last few days. If you fight, you're not coming back. Do you agree with that, Islanders? Are you proud to see this statement? We know that it doesn't apply very much. We've seen two altercations here. It does not apply, it does not happen very often, but when it does happen, Carnival says you're done. What do you think? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section below. I invite you, if you are not an Islander yet, and while you're down there, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell to receive notifications when we upload new content. I did want to share this story as well, Norwegian Cruise Line sharing that the Norwegian sun is coming back. She is back home. Matter of fact, right now she's sitting, she's early to Seattle. She is ready for her next cruise. The Norwegian Sun, of course, hit an iceberg June the 25th. She had to have a couple of sailings canceled as a result of hit, hit, hitting that growler iceberg. It's important to note, and Norwegian has made this clear, so I want to make it clear, the hull of the ship was never breached. 
The hull of the ship was never breached. It was mostly cosmetic damage, and they wanted to take the ship out of commission to make sure everything was okay, and they have done just that. Repairs are complete. The paint job is complete as well, as there was some damage below the surface. Uh, but she looks beautiful. She's there in Seattle, and she will return to cruising on Thursday, July the 14th. She's early. Passengers, I know, are ready to hop on board and enjoy Alaska as well. Are you cruising Alaska? Have you cruised Alaska? We have not yet. We are hoping to do so next year. If you've cruised, let us know what cruise line you've sailed and what was your favorite part about that trip to Alaska. We can't wait to sail to Alaska, hopefully next year. I want to end the show today with this, the special bond that passengers have with each other. I've really wanted to talk about this the last few days, and this is the time to do so. There's been, there's been negative news the last several weeks about passengers and how they act toward another. And yes, there are chair hogs, and yes, there's people who cut in line. I saw a video of a kid picking up a rock from, uh, from a putt-putt course and throwing it over the ocean. Yes, there are negative things that happen, but there is an undeniable bond between passengers. Islanders, am I right or wrong? So many times we talk to strangers as we're in line on Lido deck waiting for food. We are in the Lido deck pool. We talk to people we don't know. We talk to people before comedy shows and the shows in the main theater. There's a special bond that people have together when they're cruising that they don't have at home. This video, of course, is showing you part of that special bond. As a man on the Carnival Dream just a few days ago fell off the pier. And I'm not sharing this story to talk about the man who fell off. That's not the story here. The story is what happened after that man fell off. You know what happened? Cruisers, fellow cruisers jumped in. And yes, that's plural, an S. Two fellow cruisers were the first ones to jump into the water to help this man out. It wasn't the, the port workers there, local port workers. They didn't jump in. Maybe they didn't see the situation. It wasn't carnival workers that first jumped in. And I'm not saying they should have. They probably didn't see the situation happen. My point in this story is that two fellow cruisers who seems like did not know this man jumped in to help him. If you find yourself in a situation like this, of course, always look for the life ring. Of course, always look for people who are working to help out. But these two cruisers, they said, you know what? We're brothers on this trip and I'm going to help you out. You can see that eventually they made their way back up to safety. They climbed up the ladder to safety. That's the special bond that cruisers have. That's what passengers on cruise ships and that bond is all about. It's not about fighting. It's not about these recent negative stories. It's about this right here. And this is what we see more often than we see fighting. Islanders, if you agree with me, you've got to tell me below. Share that special bond. How has this special bond changed your cruise experience, changed your travel experience? Have you met people on board that you're friends with to this day? I can tell you I have, and many of you are watching this video right now. It's a great community to be a part of. The island time community, the cruise community, there's nothing else like it, Islanders. If you enjoyed the content today, I invite you to give us a thumbs up. That helps put this video in front of other people who are looking for a loving community just like this one right here. And Islanders, I cannot wait to share our cruise experience with you as we're cruising on the Carnival Horizon, July the 23rd. We fly out next Friday. I'm taking you with me. You just have to make sure you're subscribed. You ring that bell to receive notifications. You'll get all the content. You'll get the live content. It will tell you I've uploaded content. Have a great day, Islanders. We'll see you tomorrow right here on Island Time.